Hey guys, Meta here. This is my first on-camera talk and I basically have three things I wanted to talk to you about today. Uh, first of all, I know that a lot of you are wondering about the time frame of the uploading of episodes. Sometimes it's two months between them and sometimes two weeks. Well, there's a lot of reasons for that actually. We have turned our lives upside down basically. So we are adapting to a whole new lifestyle and uh, it just takes a while to get everything like sorted and make it every day. So, uh, so that's one of the reasons. And also we have had a lot of boat projects. Um, since we left Denmark we have been doing quite a few things on the boat as you may have seen in some of the episodes and we'll see on the future episodes. So we have been using a lot of time ourselves but also waiting for people to come and fix stuff. Um, yeah, so that takes a lot of time, especially before the big crossing we, uh, we did a thorough amount of, of work on, um, on Moana. As you may know by now, we also have a lot of crew on board. We have uh, six people at a time and they usually come and stay for two months. So that equals to quite a lot of people and I have to do a lot of coordination and it takes a lot of time to uh, sort everything out and make everything go as uh, smooth as possible. So uh, I use uh, quite some energy and a lot of time on that as well. Um, on top of that, my dear laptop decided to break down, so uh, I was uh, paralyzed for a few weeks, not having anything to work on. Uh, but uh, luckily, my uh, new dear predator has arrived, so uh, hopefully that will take good care of me, and uh, I'm up and working again. So that's good. That's a bit of the background, really, to um, why the episodes come in such a random pace. And that's not even mentioning the internet hunt that you have to do all the time. So once you need something, a uh, piece of music for the episodes, or just need to upload the episode, then you need to go hunt for some good internet. And that, that, that's not easy, <laughs> usually at least. Also, when you are out here, I can show you where we are in a bit. Uh, you basically also want to take a little time and actually enjoy being out here. So um, you don't want to sit in front of the computer all the time, uh, although I do it quite a lot. So I try to, uh, to fit it in between all the other stuff. And also a little detail that, I mean, maybe people think that it's just scrambling together uh, a few pieces of video, but I actually use quite a lot of time on um, on on making these uh, episodes. Um, I put all my heart into it, and I use quite a lot of time. So it's not a, it's not an easy job, but I really like doing it, and I really like getting all your feedback out there. Yeah. So basically, that's it. Hopefully, now you have a little idea on uh, on the background and uh, why they come in a different pace. Uh, ideally, and hopefully maybe in the future, it would be nice to have one or two episodes per month. But um, I'm not making any promises. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so the next thing that I wanted to talk to you about today is language. A lot of you have given us some advice or asked why we don't speak English in the videos. Um, and basically there's only one reason why we don't do it. Uh, English is not our native tongue and even though we might speak it quite well, I find that you tend to lose some details and maybe some shades of the language uh, if you have to speak it all the time, especially in the middle of like a situation where you're wheeling in a fish or something like a sail is broken or anything like that so you have to concentrate a bit more to speak english and also you might lose some of the uh, variety of of the language so i really want to do it as natural as possible in the everyday footage and then i do the voiceover in english and i also do the subtitles it takes actually a lot of time on my behalf 
to do subtitles and um, to do the voiceover, but I prefer to do it like that, especially because we also have crew on board and I really don't want to dictate them to uh, speak English uh, while they're here if they do not feel like it. Yeah, we actually prefer to do it this way, at least for now. It might change in the future, I can't say. But uh, yeah, so now you know that as well. And the third thing is, dum -da -da, we have a new dive lock. Uh, we have had this uh, custom made. Um, it is a regular dive lock, as you might know it, where you can lock all your dives. So you can specify where the dive was, how long you were there, how, how deep you went, what you saw. Uh, and then we have a good friend of ours who designed it, uh, Anna Sophie, and she uh, did a lot of cool drawings of sea creatures inside. So you can actually tick off when you see some of these cool creatures on your dive. And also there's a lot of beautiful pictures inside, um, as you can see. Uh, let me just find one for you here. Barracudas as well. And if you want, you can purchase it for only 200 Danish krona, so that equals to about 30 US dollar. Um, and I will put a link in the description below where you can purchase it, and you should also be able to find it on our Facebook page and on our website. Um, yeah, so that's about it for now. Um, Feel free to comment and ask any questions if you want um, in the comments below and also give us a thumbs up if you enjoy our videos and make sure you subscribe so you will see all the future episodes. Bye bye! I forgot to show you. I want to show you where we are right now. So you also can understand why you don't always want to be sitting inside in front of a laptop or as I am right now sitting in the middle of the saloon talking to myself while the rest of the crew is out diving. All right, come with me. So while I am sitting in the saloon talking to myself, this is actually my view or what I could have been doing. Not too bad, huh? So, I actually could be enjoying being on the boat all by myself, which is not something you get to do very often, being eight people on the boat. So I could be lying right about there. But instead I chose to take a little time to, uh, to do this video for you guys, so hope you appreciate it. At least I'm glad to be able to tell you a little bit about the background. So hope you enjoyed the video today and uh, make sure you subscribe. Bye bye!